Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Got some more soul hackers today. Let's uh, keep going through the second warehouse. And uh, had to load a save. Because it got my ass ha absolutely handed to me by some insta-kill bella shits. What did that guy just say? Secret elevator? Okay. So, last time we were here, kind of didn't really know where I was going. So, hopefully we can uh, remedi remedy that this time. I'm also going to see if I can use... Uh, hopefully use a stomach to my advantage, because I think I'm going to have to probably walk around this area quite a bit. One of these guys has a stoma. I might just summon him. Do, do, do. Yeah, this guy. Bifrons. So we'll uh, summon Bifrons, and then we'll uh, use the stoma. Because the stoma is pretty fucking good in this game. I want to hear secrets about Warehouse 2. Uh, there's only two levers. But there are three colors, right? Two colors, three doors? How are you supposed to open the red doors? I'm serious. A room with levers? Okay. Yeah, so we need to find the secret entrance. Le secret entrance. You know, I think we're gonna... Yeah, I think we'll get rid of Bifron to get rid of Python. Because the only reason I really have Python is for the Recarm. But that's only really good for boss fights. So, because we're just walking around this area. Don't think there's any necessary need to do that. I pulled the lever, right? Uh, god, did I? I mean, no. I don't think I did. Nope. Okay, so the yellow doors should be open up now. That's good. Good for us? Let's see, there's one. There's another one. And another one. And another one. And another. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, this seems okay. There it is. This must be the... Something's written on the door. Use the utmost caution when using the controls in this room. What does he mean by that? Okay, well, let's just open it. The red doors have been disabled. Nice. Be careful when tending to the patients. What? Oh, it's a little bit spooky. Bit of a spooky time. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, got something in here too. Ta tail, tail my lights. Nice. Tail my lights. I love tail my lights. How is this game? How are you guys liking this game? I always I like to ask this question because you know I can kind of I can kind of get a sense if people are super. I can always get a sense of just how like kind of well a game is doing. I guess you could say, and it's hard to tell with this one. I mean, if we follow her orders, we'll see what this does. Yeah, whatever, Chie. Whatever, Chie. We'll, we'll play along with your silly games, lady. What 
What's wrong? Stay back. It's dangerous to get close to him. Leave him to me. <laughs> It's okay. He's just unconscious. This place is definitely up to no good. There must be a secret here. That's why his father is like this. If we leave the place like this, something bad will happen. So let's hurry up and figure out what's going on here. We'll need to let his father wait here. Hold on, Nemissa. It's dangerous to leave him like this. We need to hide him somewhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, but please wait here. We'll be back for you soon. <laughs> what the fuck? That feels that that feels so like forced. I don't know why. Hello, Python. Strong against electricity, eh? Shit. Actually, you have a lot of strengths. Well, except for uh, Hama, I guess. What the fuck was that? Why did it, it look like something from Nirvana Initiative? <laughs> That's a little bit silly looking. Okay, let's keep going. Keep on trucking. Uh, obtain this paralyzed, nice. You there, newcomer. We just received word someone suspicious has gotten in here. Apparently his getup's loud, so he won't be hard to miss. Find and detain him. As usual, you're authorized to kill. Now go! Sure, buddy. This is a really poorly run lab, by the way, if uh, they can't tell that we're, you know, just kids. It's uh, kind of scuffed. This may be a shortcut. Yeah, we'll see where this goes. This uh, may, may give us an idea of where to go. Might be some goodies up here, too. Well, a monster. Oh, shit. This guy looks kind of powerful, actually. Oh, lordy. Oh, he's dead. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, that was, you know, kind of scary for about two seconds. About two whole seconds. Happy sandals. That might be some, uh, might be some footsies for us. Some better footsies. Sandals that give agility plus three. Sure. Sounds amazing. Sounds fantastic. We'll, uh, we'll use that endurance too, before I forget. Yeah, let's, uh, use the endurance. Endurance incense. There hasn't been too many incenses in this game. I think that's the only the second one I found. It's uh, pretty strange. Walls like this. What? Then why'd we come all the way here? Hey, can't you do something? It doesn't look like even he can crack it. So what can we do? At this rate... I'd suggest trying this. Huh? Who's there? S Sukiroku. I destroyed the main power source. That should calm down the guys above. 
What are you doing here, Sukeroku? Hmm? You're here to investigate the unknown disease too? Yeah, of course we are. You know what I always love about Atlas games? Whenever they're doing the English voice acting, some some names like Sukeloku, they say with perfect pronunciation, and then they'll say a name like Ryuji, and they'll, they'll say it like Ryuji. <laughs> it's like... Yes, and since Yakuza Noha are here, that means the unknown disease is being caused by Phantom, right? <laughs> like the other one? Takamaki. No, th what do they say? Takamaki. Yeah, they say Takam. No, what do they say? I can't even. I don't even remember what they say. But for so many games, they just get the pronunciation dead wrong. I don't know for certain, but it's only natural to think so. The timing's just too perfect. Also, they're the only ones with enough resources to have a cold sleep chamber like this ready. Cold sleep? You mean like cryogenic stasis? It seems they stuffed the victims of the unknown disease inside here. I don't know why, though, but it seems you've learned a bit about the unknown disease. I suggest you turn your focus to crypto. Crypto? The chip inside the Amami City PCs? Why would we look there? I'm afraid I don't know the details. Adam just told me to tell you. Well, I don't see any other traces of fandom here, so my business here is concluded. I'll see you around. Crypto? Crypto? The infected people had their souls stolen by demons, right? What could Crypto have to do with it? No, not my Jack Frost coin. It's lost so much value. Are they trying to use us or something? Nemissa doesn't appreciate being set to go fetch. I don't think it's like that. We can trust Madame Ginkgo. It's definitely something we should check out. Anyway, let's get out of here. We need to take your father home. Hitomi, thank you so much! Cheer up, Tomoko. I'm sure it'll get better. Yeah, I hope so. I'm sleeping quietly. First Tomoko, then him. Why is this happening to my family? Don't worry. It's not like it's a terminal disease. I'm sure he'll be alright. You're right. I need to be strong right now. I'll trust your words. But please, don't be so reckless. Oh, don't worry about me. No matter what demon comes along. We were the ones who saved your, who saved Dad too, so you can't really say that we're reckless. Oh, I mean, if we weren't worry. reckless, then what would have, what would have happened? Let's go. Uh, actually, let's go talk to them. Let's see, they may have something else to say. Welcome back. Hello, Mother. Father is still unconscious. Oh, um, I see. What is uh, the business? Going to be like this forever, is he? Well, you know, you could be like uh, Jesse's dad in Final Fantasy. <laughs> um, no, I'm not playing Paradigm X. Dad and I both started acting strange while we were playing it, huh? Is it me or is there a voice coming from inside this thing? Like something moaning? Or chanting? It's scary. Uh huh. Yeah, that does not seem normal at all. <laughs> okay, let's go to uh, go back to the HQ. We'll see what the the business be in Shibahama. Oh wait, no, our new HQ is. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's all blown up. Yeah, it's all uh, decimated. That was some explosion. I don't know how all of us managed to get out of there without getting hurt. Yeah, good question. Very good question. Almost like some major plot armor happens, if you ask me. Let's see, uh, where's our new location? Nikamimon? Uh, nope. Uh, Yulashima? Yeah, here we go. Crypto? The crypto chip is connected to the disease? It's possible, right? Like Paradigm X, the crypto chip is only used in Amami City. I see. It's worth checking out. Hey, lunch. Show me the crypto chip that was in this PC. Huh? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? You swapped it out for the prototype chip your dad was talking about, didn't you? <laughs> I can't fool you, huh? <sighs> the instant I take my eyes off you. Don't get on my case. If the crypto chip's the cause of this disease, then I just saved everyone here. Jury's still out on that one. 
punch. Don't go pat yourself on the back just yet. Anyway, open it. Hi. What are you doing? Yuichi, you're back? Yuichi? He definitely isn't possessed by the demon. Yuichi? Totally acting the same. Okay. Yeah. I'm fine. Great. All this peace and quiet was getting on my nerves. Six. What? Look, I'm glad you're back too. Ah, oh, that's right. I haven't told him yet. You see the recent wave of... It's okay. Don't mind me. I'll just watch. Hmm? Oh, oh, okay. Then just sit back and learn something. He is right, obviously possessed. I mean, he is obviously possessed. It, this is like a... This is like a case of, uh... What was that kid's name? Will in Stranger Things with the Mind Flare? Gotcha. Leave it to me. Yeah, yeah, you can trust me. Yeah, definitely. And there we go. Huh? Is something moving? this orb-like thing in the middle there is? No, I've never seen a chip like this. I'd almost say it looks... organic? Huh? Hang on, didn't you guys see that weird pink insect? What are you talking about? I'm looking inside the chip. I wasn't paying attention to insects in the room. It flew out of the chip, just now. You didn't see it? It was pretty. I've never seen anything so beautiful. You saw it too, right? Yeah. It was really beautiful. Yuichi's the only other person who saw it? What's going on? You know, just this one chip isn't gonna help anything. Shouldn't we talk about that a little bit more? I mean, it's like, you know, somebody just saw a fucking thing come out of the chip. And we're just casually moving on, like, eh, who cares? What seems to be the big deal? Algon Microelectronics, just north of here, right? Why don't we sneak in? If we see how they're producing these things, we might learn something. Yeah, let's do that. There's definitely something weird about that chip. There's gotta be a secret. Uh, hold on, you two. Lunch's father works at Algon Microelectronics. If we sneak in, we could cause trouble for him. No, oh, that's a great idea. Uh, hey, Lunch. Are you sure about this? If the crypto chip is causing this strange disease, then I want to see it with my own eyes. If you guys don't want to go there, I'll do it myself. And if lunch is okay with this, let's do it. We don't want to cause trouble, right? Fine. Yuichi, what are you going to do? I'll go. I see. All right, let's get moving. Uh, let's save the game, because we haven't saved for a little bit of time now. Save the game, then I guess we can, uh... Actually, there is something I want to show you. Uh, Let's go. yeah, there's kind of a cool mechanic. Well, it's not a cool mechanic, but... There's kind of a cool thing in this game, where as soon as you load the game, you can actually kind of, uh... Can quit the game. I didn't want to overwrite the save, whatever. Uh, there's this cool thing where if you load the game, you can kind of, like, pick up stuff in the story. It's kind of like how Persona 5 is like, the story has been updated. Yeah, oh uh, shit, I missed it. No, whatever. Try that again. Let's go. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. Okay. Yeah, so if we uh, load the game here. Do you want to read the digest? Yes, we do. So I guess you can, like, watch stuff. Yeah, so I guess this is like cutscenes in the game or something. Uh, maybe? Let's see this one. Yeah, it sort of is, I think. Huh? Yeah, but there's also, yeah, there's also, like, talk, talk stuff. Also, I have to say that Nemissa, I like Nemissa's new outfit, but she looks good in the old stuff, too. She looks good in the red vest. I'll give it to her. Just a very sexy lady. Okay, cool. Uh, let's begin the game. But yeah, that's kind of a cool way to catch up on stuff, especially if you haven't played for a while, which I 
Unfortunately, I haven't been able to play this game as much as I would like. It's been it's been very divided, which I, I never like to do that personally. I like to at least play like three hours in a row. But sometimes I've only been able to play like an hour before I have to go to class or work or some other bullshit, so. Algon microelectronics. Huh. I never thought I'd actually be physically infiltrating this place. All the Algon buildings are huge. Not that I care. Although, how come our HQ isn't something like this, leader? <laughs> the hacker owning a high rise? Yeah, that'd be a change of pace. Hey, I checked it out. The entrance is locked. Shocking, I know. You can't get in without a key card. I'm way ahead of you. I wouldn't have us come here just to get denied before we even got into the building. Huh? What's that? It's my ace decoder. It can unlock basic electronic locks like this in a snap. You're always there for me, Lunch. Let's get moving. Nothing's more suspicious looking than a mass of people huddled around a door. All right, let's start by looking for the crypto chip production line. This is a huge place, so even though I hate doing this, we'll need to split up. You guys don't do anything. You guys don't actually contribute anything. You're so full of shit. Uh, okay, let's go this way. They just let us in this place? Okay. Yeah, totally. Totally legit. If I, go, if I go to an AMD factory, I can just walk in. Just walk in, no problem. Are you kidding me? Both of, both of these guys reflect electricity? Oh god. That's very bad for us. It's very terrible. Level up. We actually have a lot of agility, so let's uh, keep getting some of our strength in the meantime. Hey, you shouldn't be walking around here in plain clothes. The factory manager will yell at you. Once he has reason to get on you, he'll never let up. Be careful not to get spotted by him. Is that like an actual guy? Probably is, based on based on what that guy's sounding like. Sounds like a kind of a dick. Kind of a bastard. This is going to be really annoying if we just keep going against these guys who reflect. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's uh, revive that guy, and um, I think our Estoma ran out too, so that's kind of a bad sign. One thing about this game I really don't like is the fact that you have to summon these demons every single time, and you have to cost money to do so. Not a huge fan of that, I have to say. Not a huge fan. All these fucking enemies, this is so bad for... This is like so awful for Nemissa. Because all these enemies reflect or they resist electricity and that's the only type of damage she does. I think the, I think the other damage type uh, Nemissa does with the sexy build I think is... Uh, I want to say it's... Oh god, what is it? I think it's almighty damage. Which is uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I always think almighty damage is kind of like stupid, if you ask me. It feels... It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel bad, it just feels kind of... Because nobody can avoid it, or there's no resistance, I feel like the game kind of like debuffs it a lot.
Whoa, these guys again who fucking reflect electricity. It's so fun. It's so ass. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Hopefully that's not hopefully that's not the majority of enemies we face in this area, because if so. If so, that's gonna be pretty uh, pretty bad for us. Okay, so they said something about a control room uh, that uh, opens the door on the first floor. Let's see. Yeah, I think another reason why I haven't been playing this game too much. Uh, Alpha Star Rogue, that sounds really good. That sounds like a super fucking good thing. Only for females. Null's electricity weak to force. Uh, you know? I think that could be better than what we have. Uh, it sort of is. Kind of. It's a uh, lower evasion but higher defense by a pretty decent amount. So, sure, why not? But yeah, so another reason why I haven't been playing this game too much is, you know, the combat is... I mean, I know I sound like a broken record when I'm talking about this, but the combat in this game really isn't that good. <laughs> so I just kind of... just kind of feel like, not demoralized, but just like, eh. These combat sections are just such a drag. And because it's the encounter system too, you can't really avoid demons, necessarily. So that kind of ties in with the whole not being able to do anything. All these fucking demons reflect electricity. It's awful. It is so awful. Whoa, great. Got insta-killed. And when's the last time I've saved, too? Yeah, oh god, so demoralizing sometimes, I have to say. So demoralizing. Uh, when is the last save? I think it's right outside the thing, yeah it is, okay. Uh... This fucking sucks. Let's go to, let's go to the store and buy some stuff before we do this. Might be some good armor or something I missed out on, potentially. So, I think that's a good idea right now. Might be some goodies over here. Ah, Master Butayo. <laughs> Master Butayo, welcome, welcome. Let's see, got any good stuff for me? Uh, this is actually all better than what I have, so definitely. Yeah, these are actually we got some pretty insane stuff here, buddy. Yeah, nice. I'll take, I'll take those, and I'll take. Uh, let's see. Nullifies death. Nullifies death is pretty good, simply because I really hate dying to insta kills. But I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose magic. No, I don't want to lose strength. Let's uh, give this to me and give that to Namissa. Let's see. Equal. Okay, those are pretty much worse. Resembles a hum human face. Nullifies nerve weak to curse. Oh shit. Not really a big fan of that. Yeah. Let's get rid of the weak to curse because I think that's gonna kind of bite me in the ass as time goes on, probably. So, let's see if we can avoid that. Look how good this ring is. What the fuck? So broken. Okay, so we'll get some- let's get some guns too while we're here. Is there might be some uh, good guns for us, you never know. Might be some goodies. Some yummy goodies. Who sells guns again? I think it's this guy, right? Yeah. Um, I actually have zero, very little money. This would be a, this would be a better gun for sure. It's a 12 gauge semi. 12 gauge, I think that means shotgun. Based on my knowledge of firearms and then let's also go to uh first of all we need some money welcome to yes welcome to the organic something association what? 
What will you do? Okay, let's sell some mag. Give me like, uh, let me sell, I'll sell, I'll sell like 5,000 mag. Yeah, that's, that's a good amount. It's kind of, it's kind of insane how cheap money is in this game. Because, I mean, it is really cheap. It is insanely cheap. Back again. What's up? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, let's buy the 12-gauge semi. Buy the 12-gauge semi and anything for the woman. The side-by-side. -side. Sure, why not? Looks better, I guess. And then let's buy some, let's buy some super good ammo. Corona shell. Oh boy, is it gonna give me fucking COVID? Uh, single guns, shotguns. Actually, what we're using is pretty good. Let's buy like oh, this is so expensive. What the fuck? This is so fucking expensive. Wow, that's kind of insane. That is kind of insane how expensive that is. What do you mean? I can afford it. Oh no, I can't. Uh, both of these guys are using the Corona shell. Yeah, I think that's fine, because Nemesis is kind of the one who needs the damage right now, so that's fine. So, all right. Get some more money, just because uh, I want to heal up before we head into the dungeon. I'm, I actually have no idea where the story is going in this game, by the way. I'm assuming it's something to do with Paradigm X and something to do with... The Phantom Association or something. That's kind of kind of the gist of what I'm getting. But uh, they're not it's not super obvious. Maybe it's because I haven't been paying attention, but yeah, feels doesn't feel super obvious. Okay, let's save our game. Uh, new information on the summer internet. Okay, let's go check that. Dr. Thrill's location. We have confirmed his whereabouts. He is performing research at the Primate Intelligence Lab in Nikamimon. Huh. Primate Intelligence Lab. Maybe we should go see there. Yeah, maybe we should uh, go visit there before we head into the thingy. Sure, why not? I know there's some side stories in this game, but I haven't, I haven't found too many of them. I think it's because I haven't been talking to people as much, but... Let's hurry to Algon Microelectronics. Yes, Nemissa. Yes, Nemissa. We're gonna head to Algon Microelectronics. Let's go to Nikamimon first, though. He said something? Yeah, here he is. Primate Intelligence Lab. Huh. This place is like an actual location, I guess? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, these guys are super fucking low level. Super, super, so super low level. So probably kill them very quickly. Let's use a stoma because I can't be bothered to face these guys if they're going to be so low level. Oh, my Patra Stone, Puggers. Absolutely insane. <laughs> Look how many... Look how many stomas we've, uh, or look how many encounters we've missed out on because of a stoma. It's actually so handy. It's so handy. Uh, 
Uh, test room. What's gonna be in here? This is the intelligence training program. Answer the question correctly in 10 seconds or less to proceed to the next floor. Okay, sure. Look closely at the board in front of you. Now, which equation has the largest solution? Four. Uh, two plus one, four. What? Wait, what? Two plus one, two times one plus two is four. Two times one times two is four. Two plus one plus two is five. Two plus one... Oh, I'm doing bed mass wrong. Yeah, okay, I'm doing bed mass wrong. My mistake. Looks like the answer is... Let's see. Five. That one's five, two. I guess it's three. Yeah, it must be three. Or, yeah, because two times one plus two. Must be three. Don't put me back! Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Listen, I'm not that stupid. I I just freaked out because they were like, you have 10 seconds or less to get this done. And that's why that's why it messed with me. Okay, I'm a fucking... I'm a math genius. Okay, I got, I got like a... I got like a 62 in Calculus 2. Okay, kind of know what I'm doing. Any, any Calculus 2 people know that if you pass, you're a genius. <laughs> That's kind of what it comes down to. Okay, let's try this one again. This is the intelligence training room. Okay, so 2 plus 1 plus 2 is 5. 2 times 1 plus 2 is 4. 2 times 1 times 2 is 4. 2, time, two plus 1 times 2... No, 2 plus 1 times 2 is 4, so it must be 3. 5 is a valid solution for which number selection? Uh, 3. You have earned the right to proceed to the second floor. Cool. Might be some, uh, might be some goodies up here, you know? How many floors are there? How, uh, yeah, how many floors are there exactly? That's a good question. That's a very good question. Banana, watermelon, and apple. Okay. Pay attention to the board in front of you. Okay, I am. Now, in this picture, where is the orange? What orange? What? The... the breakfast. Nice. Great. What kind of fucking stupid question was that? <laughs> sure, whatever. No, I'm slipping on banana peels. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, whatever, fuck it. Beware of banana peels. Yeah, I know, asshole. Kinda made that obvious when you, you know, were fucking with me. At last, the final test. The superior primate will find his way through this invisible maze and receive... Wait for it, a giant banana. That goal, the, the goal is only a few steps away. Okay, sure, I can do that. Not like I have the map in front of me. Hehe <laughs> XD. Little bits of. Yeah, having the map kind of makes this a little bit broken. Sure. That's that's a fair statement. This is the intelligence training program. Okay, so let's uh, save because I this one. Every time I see geometry or anything to do with shapes, it's always a bad time. So let's uh, try to compose myself here. Try to compose myself. Examine the board in front of you carefully. How many boxes appear when viewed from above? Uh, six. That was simple. And that was a simple dimple one. Where's my banana? Asshole.
Then you're expecting a giant banana? There's no such thing! <laughs> you're part of Phantom, aren't you? Who exactly are you? Phantom? <laughs> those guys. But don't lump me in with those pedestrians. I'm not in their group. I simply loaned them my genius for a brief period. And because of that, I find myself and my research constantly under duress from summoners. And once I made that realization, I also found my solution. Like eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, a summoner for a summoner. And my work is finally complete. I have created an unfailingly loyal summoner to do my bidding. Show yourself, Romero! It is time for you to shine! When I kill you, the doctor will be pleased. That's my boy. It chokes me up to see the monkey that you have become, Romero. Puny summoner. Your mom's so fat and hated, when she goes out, nobody wants to talk to the 800-pound gorilla in the room. Uh -huh. uh, hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Unleashed your devastating psychological attacks! His will is breaking down! That seems to be all you runts can handle. I'll finish thrashing you another time. No, Romero. You must fight them now. They can't be allowed to leave. My apologies. I didn't realize that they posed such a threat. Their appearance led me to believe otherwise. <laughs> I tell you to prepare yourselves, but no defense can possibly spare you from my ultimate attack. All right, I challenge you to face my riddles. Get <laughs> four right in a row, and you win. Is that so? Hmm. I see, Romero. Or what's his name? Yeah, Romero. It would be a shame if I used a safe state. Here we go. A farmer puts something into a barrel of water. Now it's lighter. Oh god, a farmer puts something into a barrel of water. Now it's lighter. I have no idea. What did he put in the barrel? Ice? No, cuz what it would be the it would be the same. A hole? Yeah, a hole. Lucky for you, this was the first question, huh? Second, something you'll never question when you're alone. Easily fine with two. And more difficult with three or more. Something you'll never question when you're alone. Easily fine with two. And more difficult with three or more. Kinda feels like- I feels like I'm Bilbo Baggins with Golem. <laughs> and by the way, if I was Bilbo Baggins, I definitely would have died. Uh, something you'll never question when you're alone. Easily fine with two. And more difficult with three or more. Oh, God. Um, hmm. I'm not sure about this one. What is it? A secret? Oh, I see. Probably is a secret. What? It's not manly? Oh, and you're wrong, by the way. No! Look, Doctor, these guys are hopeless. Can you maybe turn a Venus flytrap into an incompetent summoner to beat them? I know that you're beyond their capabilities. But I can't create a minion for an underling. That's just absurd. But I'm not even using nine thousandths of my brain power, and they're still woefully outmatched. How can you even summon? You're more like a nunner. <laughs> Maybe they've got failure mutations on their dominant alleles. That would literally make them born losers. <laughs> well. Sir, time to start acting like one. Get lost. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? Huh? Think you can talk to me that way? With you and your fancy alleles talks? Uh, oh god, it's a different question. A plane crashes on the border between two countries. Where do you bury the survivors? That's a good question. I have no fucking idea. Probably nowhere. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you don't bury survivors. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a good one. I like that one. I'm gonna use that on somebody. I'm gonna use that on somebody. That's a good one. No sooner spoken than broken. What am I? No sooner spoken than broken. Sounds like a silence. Uh, let's make another save, because I'm a little bit... Actually, we'll just have fun with this. Because they're different every time. Could be fun. I'm gonna say silence. Not bad, huh? I'm actually impressed. Question three. Maybe I'll give you a normal question. And not a riddle this time. What does a dog's life mean? Uh, a dog's life. That's a good... Isn't it like a terrible life or something? Dog's life. Uh, an action-adventure game, apparently. Hmm. What about this one? The phrase imitated in the 16th century when dogs, dogs would guard homes in small communities were fed scraps, so it wasn't life. It wasn't good. Okay, so yeah, terrible life. That's kind of what I thought it was, right? What is younger the older it gets? Uh, what is younger the older it gets? Hmm. What is younger the older it gets? Maybe this one's too hard for you. An old lady. Photograph. What is younger the older it gets? Oh, a photograph! Yeah, nice. That's a, that's a clever one. Yeah, I like that. Wait, did I just lose? It's impossible! 3000 XP, let's go. Let's fucking go. Inconceivable! Romero was raised on riddles, and yet he was somehow defeated by them. This isn't good. If his ego continues to degrade at its current rate, he's going to die. Your super intelligence is turning into your Achilles heel. Ooh. I am slain. Aid him or finish him? Uh, I feel like he's just gonna kill me. Let's finish him. What? Double damnation! Romero's ploy didn't even face him! He feels nothing at all for animals! Has he no conscience? See, I knew he was gonna pull that crap on me, so I wasn't gonna be falling for that shit. I guess we're Not gonna be falling for that. Nice try, though. Very well. We nice try. Summoner to summoner, then. Wait, we actually have to fight this guy now? Oh, shit. Oh god. Uh oh. It looks like Namissa and I versus the world. Great. Uh that's not a lot of damage by the way, that's a very small amount. He didn't even he didn't even lose any okay, that guy's taking some damage at least. Where's the monkey? Is the monkey behind them? Or the chimpanzee? Whatever. Is there a difference between monkeys and chimpanzees? Probably is. It's gonna be like, how do you not know that, bro? Are you fucking kidding me? Demon teeth grinds. That seems disgusting. Pretty much we're treating this game like a visual novel right now because I'm just like kind of saying fuck it to the gameplay, but I think that's fine. I think it's fine. You know, it's, I don't think it's that big a deal. Nice, good game. Good battle. He, he, he lost again. Even though I turned him into a summoner, it appears you finally brought the monkey out of him. That's pretty heartless, Doctor. I tried my best, and I employed the tactics learned from your tutelage. If I'm to blame, one could posit that you are culpable for my failure as well. And could you not call me a monkey? Ah, how dare you get uppity on me, you failure! 
Don't you talk back to me, monkey! So that's how it is. I see now. I followed your orders and guidance because I thought of you as my father, Doctor. But that thought has perished today. I shall live as I please now. I appreciate your role you had in my development, but we shall never speak to one another again. Fine. Leave. See if I care. Why does everyone I work with have to get such an attitude? No, no gratitude. I'm going home, or I don't have to think about you in great anymore. Out of my way, morons! Aww. Oh, I think he's upset. I think he's a little bit upset about that one. Uh, okay, so let's go. There might be some other. Uh, there might be some other side stories around here, so I'm just gonna take a look. Uh, what the fuck? I didn't even know we could go in here. Go visit Algon NS, I guess. This is where Arabe was, uh, in the very first beginning of the game. If, uh, memory serves me correctly. I don't see any side quests, so. Let's do this. Let me look up Soul Hacker side quest. And, uh, see what that does. Soul Hacker side quest. Here we go. Let's see. Optional quest. Here we go. Amami Bypass. I may have missed some of these, by the way. It's very possible. Boss fight. Special power research center. Okay. Yeah, I probably did miss some stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Not too big a deal. That was a, that was a pretty fun side quest, though. I like the I like the riddles and everything. It was a it was a nice little time. It was very enjoyable. Let's go to uh, let's go to Amami Bay. The sea arc is where we can do some grinding, and I think I actually may do some grinding by myself. Yeah, I think I'll do that actually. We'll do a little bit of grinding in here, because I know you can go up to separate levels and everything and. Treat it kind of like a. Hello. I don't know how to Welcome. say it, but kind of treat it like a. It's kind of like the training grounds from Rido, I guess is like the best way to do it, or like Mementos from Persona Five or something. Or I don't think I don't think there was anything in the TV world similar to that. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, we'll call this one quits here. Made some decent progress. Next time we'll continue through the Algon Factory and uh, with the main story. But uh, until then, we're gonna do some leveling, maybe find some demons, get some new items, and uh, should be exciting.